Hi, I'm Ali Bolden and this is my initial ideas for my music magazine uh, for my A-level media foundation portfolio. My magazine, I had quite a few name ideas, so things like Clash, which are quite harsh sounding words which fit with the genre of my magazine, Turmoil, EMO, Thrash because it's a kind of uh, genre of music, Necromancy, Black Magic, it's promoting this idea of darkness, and piercing which links to like your band members with piercings and the pain and this idea of rock and roll. For my genres and subgenres within my magazine, I'm going to look at rock, pop punk, emo pop, alternative metal, and metalcore. Similar to Kerrang, it's just exploring different aspects of the rock and roll genre through different bands, different singers, acts, gigs, and live performances. My target demographic is going to be a pretty mainstream rock and roll magazine. So you've got your rock, your punk, metal music listeners. Your average reader of Kerrang! would probably read this as well. Uh, but also people who are of alternative fashion, wear dark clothes, dark makeup, have a lot of piercings and tattoos. Completely alternative to this idea of being normal or girly or just a normal man. Uh, people who see band members possibly as sex symbols or ideal selves, so they want to be the people that are in the magazine. People who read magazines of this genre, and males and females aged 50 and upwards. The frequency of my magazine will be weekly. It works well for most magazines that are already out there, such as Kerrang! and stuff like that. Um, it keeps the audience more up to date if it's weekly which is important um, and it keeps up with the changes in the news because there's new stuff happening in music all the time uh, if the fan base is big enough it will work but if not it may have to be set back a bit to maybe monthly plus with it being weekly it's a possibility for a company to earn more money so deciding on whether my magazine is national regional or local i've gone for national because it's important that you get news about not only from bands from different areas but to people from different areas and by doing that you also hit a larger target audience so again money promotion stuff like that the cost of my magazine will be around £2.50 it's a similar price you'd pay for other magazines of this style or type and I think it would be worth it for the amount of information and the amount of content that will be put into it. It also compensates for things such as your posters, giveaways, free merch, subscriptions, free stuff in general, prizes, entries, stuff like that. The contents of my magazine is going to be live stories of bands, reviews of albums and gigs, as well as like concerts, stuff like that. Um, also your contents in general, so when they are, where they are, who's going to be there, who's going to be supporting them, uh, your fan based stories, so stuff that fans have sent in, maybe artwork, pictures, stuff they've done or drawn, and also like things as competitions where you can win merch, you can win tickets, meet band members, get a free signed copy of something for example because this is what will entice the reader into buying the magazine and possibly reading it as well. Um, my ideas for cover images probably going to be post photography because it looks more professional. Uh, I'm probably going to do a male because stereotypically your rock and roll readers are usually male but also those who are, who are female look at males as maybe a possible sex symbol or partner but I could also do females because it'll help females link with that and entice them more to read the magazine or for the opposite reason of males wanting to buy it because they see the women as a sex symbol. Um, you could do it mixed gender so have a mixed band then that appeals to everyone and anyone. Um, you could also have an idea of maybe putting live performance pictures in to show that we're a magazine that gets stuck in and involved but that's kind of like snatch photography so it could look unprofessional or blurry if not done properly 
my ideas for my double page spread. So I could either do something like a concert review because I go to them personally and I have my own pictures, an album review where my opinions are put forward or other people's opinions on new albums, uh, meet the band member or artist because people really want to know who's upcoming or what people are up to, um, music liked by other bands because people are interested in knowing what other bands are into other than themselves. Your typical interview, so just asking someone some questions about how they're doing, what they're doing, what they plan on doing, a competition or a fan page to get the readers themselves involved. For my fonts for my magazine, they're going to be pretty classic rocks, so big, bold, solid shapes, no really cursive to make it too fancy or maybe too feminine. My Font could also incorporate images or icons within it, so things like skulls or microphones, stuff that links to the music genre. Quite block-like capitals make it bigger and bolder, maybe broken and edgy alternative fonts to make it look so, like completely different to like your traditional magazine. So I also have to look at what colours I'm going to be using, so I've got my typical black and white and maybe things like red and blue just to break it up but also still linking with this idea of a rocky genre because your blacks, your typical darkness, death metal kind of connotations but also it stands out well against white which makes it look quite clean cut and makes it also look professional which is what I'm aiming for. Red's also got your connotations of danger and blood and fire, which also links back to this idea of rock and roll and badness. But also blue would be suitable because it's a masculine colour, so it'll appeal to my male viewers, but also it's just a good colour for breaking up and looking good.